Warning! This video blog or vlog could contain harsh opinions and foul language. If you do not appreciate said content or material, well, you could just fuck right off. Greetings, Internet people. Ranning Ramsey here. How are you all doing today? Wasn't doing so badly until I came to the realization that the Yahoo News blog article team that they have apparently has some feminazis working for them. Now, before all the ladies get their fucking knickers in a twist and start screaming that I've just called feminists feminazis, I want to make a distinction. Not all feminists are feminazis, but all feminazis are feminists. Okay? There is a difference. A feminist is someone who believes in equal rights between the genders. That believes that a woman desire, deserves every single opportunity that a man deserves. Every chance, every ability to prove themselves worthy of a given task or job or what have you. And that's fine. I have no problem with that whatsoever because human beings are human beings whether you've got fucking tits or you got fucking testicles human beings are human beings where I have a problem is the feminazis who say because we live in a male centric society for so long that now we should be living in a female centric society whereas the males should be subjugated as the women have been subjugated. They don't want equal rights, they want superiority. But that's really not the point of what I'm talking about. The point of what I'm talking about is that some feminazis are so fucking oversensitive that you can't even make a joke if you're a public figure that would even possibly remotely sexualize a woman in any way. Because then you're being an absolute fucking sexist and you just deserve to have a derisive news blog written about you. Now what I'm talking about, I don't know if uh, you guys are keeping up on the whole Olympics thing that's going on. I'm not really safe for major news stories like this one. We had two American sprinters trying out in a heat for the last spot on the US women's Olympic team for the 100 meters. Two women, Allison Felix and Jenna uh, Tarmo? Tarmo? Not sure how to pronounce that. I've heard T A R M O H. Tarmo, I think. Anyway, Allison and Jenna finished in a dead heat. Literally, even with all of today's modern high speed cameras and nanosecond timing, it is determined that they crossed the finish line in their final heat at exactly the same time. And nobody knows which spot or which of them the spot on the Olympic team should go to. There have been two solutions that have been offered for this. One is a runoff. Run the fucking race again. Just the two of them, whichever one fucking wins. Maybe do two out of three even. You know, get the best average. Whoever has the shortest amount of time running these races over and over again, whatever, will be the one who gets the Olympic team spot. Or a coin flip. Those are the two major solutions that are going on right now. However, a, um, another, um, another uh, American sprinter who just recently qualified for the men's 100 meters and a few others, uh, his last name of Gatlin, um, or Gatlin, however you pronounce it, I'm not sure, G-A-T-L-I-N, looks like Gatlin to me. Anyway, he, uh, on, on his Twitter account, he uh, had a third option says, I'm voting for a Jell-O wrestling match, Gatlin said. Red Jell-O, that's my favorite. That's pretty funny. That's, you know, obviously meant as a joke. Obviously meant to put some levity on a very heavy situation if you're really wrapped up in the Olympic sprinting world. You know, apparently this is something that doesn't happen very often and it's got a lot of weight behind the situation in the Olympic sporting world. Gatlin was apparent, uh, apparently, in my opinion, attempting to add a little bit of levity to the situation by making a joke about it. Let's just read 
this really short, which doesn't surprise me, really short feminaziist blog. Justin Gatlin made the U.S. Olympic team for London over the weekend by winning the 100 meter at the Olympic trials. On the women's side, the U.S. still doesn't have a third entrant into the 100 meters because Allison Felix and Jenna Batarmo finished in a dead heat. While Felix and Tarmo are deciding between a runoff or a coin flip, keep that in mind, runoff or coin flip, that's going to be important, it's going to come back. Gatlin offered a third sexist option, a mud slash jello wrestling match. The blog continues on to say, Oh, see, that's supposed to be funny, the blog continues. The fact Felix and Tarmo have worked just as hard as Gatlin to get to the Olympics as sprinters should be thrown out. Ignore their accomplishments as athletes and focus on the fact that Gatlin, want, or Gatlin wants to be titillated. What? What the fuck did you just write? Do you have an editor? Do you have someone who overviews your shit before you fucking put it up here? That... Okay. Maggie, I'm directly asking you a question, even though you will probably, likely, never see this video. I'm directly asking you a question. A coin flip. Which involves no physical merits whatsoever. Does not do the same asinine crap that you suggested here? Does Would not a coin flip ignore all of their athletic accomplishments because it's settling the way in an arbitrary manner, or setting, setting the matter in an arbitrary manner that has no reflection on their physical accomplishment whatsoever? I mean, if you're going to go this route, you need to say that the coin flip needs to be fucking totally done away with as well, and the only way that they're going to be legitimized as female athletes is to have a runoff! But you don't even realize that that's what you just fucking said. You don't even realize that the coin flip would be just as dismissive. At least the wrestling option shows a little physical prowess. At least the wrestling option would demonstrate how physically fit these women are. Coin flip will not do that in any way, shape, or form. A coin flip is pure fucking random chance. And yet, that does not delegitimize these female athletes whatsoever. She goes further to add some other little feminaziist thing at the bottom here. It says, He said this on the same day Saudi Arabia announced it was letting women compete in the Olympics for the first time in its history, and two days after Title IX's 40th anniversary was separated. In Omaha, Nebraska, Eugene, Oregon, and San Jose, California, female athletes are trying to become Olympians in swimming, track, and field, and gymnastics. What the fuck does that have to do with that? With the... But... You are grasping at straws, Maggie! Come on, girl! Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, person! But with the comment he said two different times, Gatlin reminded those athletes that some will still see them as objects. Yeah, teenage boys. What do you expect when you wear skin-tight clothing to athletically perform? Do you think that there aren't women out here watching the men, the male sprinters, and the male athletes perform, having sexual fantasies about it the whole time. The difference between men and women is that men dig it when women sexually fantasize about them. For some odd reason, a female is offended by that. And yet they'll wear halter tops and plunging necklines. And one of the biggest fashion trends I've seen this summer is hot pants. They've come back. And women are wearing these willfully. It's not like that's the only thing they can go out and buy. There are clothes of all types out there. Okay, here's an even better one. We've all seen this little meme on the internet. A woman in a bikini. Totally fine with it. I'm down. In fact, I could even wear a string bikini. And I look sexy, but fuck you for looking at me. But God damn it, don't look at me when I'm in my underwear! You fucking feminazists. Yes, I did combine the two in that particular instance. This is just asinine. 
It just really pisses me off that a male can't even make a joke to his other male friends, to the world, and that most of the men are going to laugh at that. It's no longer acceptable because we're completely dismissing the fact of anything they've ever done in their life if we realize the fact that they're women. You would think that these so-called intelligent feminists at this point would realize that men are still genetically driven to procreate. And yes, we do have to, to do a good job of controlling these thoughts and urges and whatnot. But a joke is fucking harmless. You, Maggie need to untwist your fucking panties. I'm Randy Ramsey, that is all. Hey, did you get all that, man?